Thank you. Do you use uh, machine learning techniques in your uh, predictions? And if yes, uh, which algorithms do you use? So do I use uh, machine learning techniques? Uh, no, not really. And the reason is that the problems I'm looking at are, are, are they're not really big data problems. They're kind of uh, medium data problems <laughs> instead. Um, you know, I think machine learning works when you have a very objective way to test out the results. So some of the more advanced uh, chess programs today, the best one's probably a program called, uh, called Ribka. And I talked to the designer of that program, and, and it, it basically um, has figured out how to test hypotheses by itself. It'll make, in essence, random permutations in its code, and then play a million matches against itself and see if it improves its performance at all. And so it's kind of a, a, a machine learning te 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 technique that works pretty well. Um, but in chess, because it's so tangible, you can measure progress over time. Do you win or lose more games? There are different algorithms you can use to measure the quality of play. I mean, that tends to work pretty well. I think um, you run into some problems elsewhere where you have a more open-ended type of system. Um, and in general, I think that if you don't know why a computer program is doing what it's doing, then that's when you get yourself into a lot of trouble. Um, computer programs are, are terrific labor-saving devices, um, but they can't really add intelligence, I suppose. Um, they can't, they're not always great for testing theories, and so I, I encourage people to be, to be wary about saying, well, let me just kind of press a button and then get a better result. It can work in some cases like chess, um, just like there are cases like baseball or weather forecasting where we've seen big data make huge improvements, but, but you know, probably two-thirds of the stories in the book are stories of failure and that kind of bare laboratories experiment where, yeah, one-third of these results were, were true, but two-thirds were false signals. So I think you, your Bayesian prior, so to speak, should be on the side of caution. <laughs> um, when you've demonstrated a particular technique works, then you can be more aggressive about applying it. But, um, but in general, a lot of the results you read, they're statistically based anywhere from the newspaper to even in academic journals, um, probably won't really hold up to scrutiny. So, so be smart, but be, but be careful is kind of the lesson, I think.